Hello. So um, today I want to talk a bit about my new book, um, Uncreated Light. Uncreated Light is a book that I wrote inspired. It's a fictional book, but I wrote it inspired by my friend um, Nicholas Kashuba, who passed away a few years ago. I had written the book in uh, 2018, did a little bit of minor editing, put it away for years, sent it to some publishers. It wasn't going anywhere. Um, I had my brother read through it, and he felt that a lot of stuff he felt that the book was too focused on me at times and that the, it should be more focused on my friend. So my brother is a writer too. I've, he's been editing my articles for quite a while, whether that be conceptual in terms of just conversations about how the articles could be better or like letter to letter editing. Um, and I do the same for him. He's working on his first book. It's going to be a book about Canadian history and religious symbolism. So anyway, I brought him on board to be the editor for my new book. And we went back and forth for a few months. And um, yeah, the book is out now. Um, see if I can get it in the camera. Uncreated light. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it from the prologue to the Gospel of John. That's the new book. Um, what is the book about? The book is about... Um, well, it's about my friend, but it's a fictional book. So when Paul is killed by a drunk driver while walking on a lonely stretch of Prairie Highway, he begins a journey through the afterlife to save himself and his loved ones. Um, yeah, so people watching this channel might have an idea about what the the phrase uncreated light means. But for people who don't know, it's it shows up in the church fathers a lot, um, like early century, early centuries, Christian writings. Uh, we'll have that phrase, and it is essentially the idea of, it's particularly prominent in Eastern Orthodoxy, um, where monks would be praying and staring at their chest or their stomach, and they would see the uncreated light, meaning that they would have a direct transformative experience of God's presence, seeing God, not as a created thing in the world, but as he really is. Um, I won't spoil the book, but it plays a huge role in the book. So... Um, some people have been curious about what the family of my friend thinks about this book. Um, I actually took an early copy before the publication date, which was my friend's on my friend's birthday. I took the early copy to my friend's mom, who I've stayed in contact with over the years. Um, me and my friend met each other when we were about three years old in gymnastics, and uh, she was able to read through it, and she just loved it. So that was great. Um, it was great that I could be of use in that way. Um, how has the book been performing? The book has consistently been in the top 100 Amazon bestsellers list for its genre. Its genre is philosophical fiction. So philosophical fiction is a story that deals with um, themes or topics that would normally be reserved for philosophy. My first degree was in philosophy. I've always had an interest in philosophy, and a lot of my favorite fiction gets categorized as philosophical fiction that deals with questions um, that would be dealt with in philosophy or theology. Um, can you read some of the book? Yes, I decided to release the first chapter for free. There'll be a link to that in the description of this video down below. There'll also be a link to order the paperback version, and there'll be a link for my articles and other things, podcasts, where you can follow my work. Um, yeah, so you can read the first chapter for free and get a sense of whether you want to continue with the book, which I hope you do. Um, the publisher is close to the Bone Publishing. That's an imprint of Grit Fiction. They are based in the UK. They worked with me on my first book, Light and Dark, and I felt like it was kind of like a return home to now do Uncreated Light. Light and Dark was a crime thriller uh, set in the prairies, and it didn't really have religious themes because I wasn't really a religious person. And so I thought it was cool to get to um, come back to that publishing house to do Uncreated Light, which is an entirely different thing. It's not... Well, I'll leave it up to you whether it's realistic or not. Um, am I working on more books? Yes, I'm always working on more books uh, all the time, but I keep it all top secret until it's pretty much ready to come out. Um, yeah, I think that kind of covers it all. I recommend you read the first chapter. Um, thank you to everybody who's been buying the book and keeping it in the top 100, keeping it at, is, was at 60th last I checked earlier today on the Amazon bestsellers list for philosophical fiction. And uh, that's a great Christmas present. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.